some bobs done, zipped to the shops, and I've just sat down. I've moved the table over to the window, which looks really odd in the room, if you look that side. But it's just so much nicer to work with like this light coming in. I really wish this flat, like this flat is gorgeous. Like I could not have dreamt of anything more perfect apart from the sun doesn't come in here, so it's really cold. And it's, I know it's lovely outside because I just went for a walk and people have shorts on, so it's officially summer in my eyes. But I've just sat down. I thought I'd show you guys some of the mugs that I had painted because obviously in the last video I was making some mugs. So I've got a selection here. A few of them have broken um, and they're all like skew with and a bit wonky, but that's kind of what I want to go for. I really want to go for an organic look. Um, so I've got this little one here, which I've flicked with a big paintbrush. I'm not sure if you can see, it's got like big, big circles on. And then I've done another one that's slightly bigger with flicks of paint on. Um, this one I've done for my friend. I've written mummy, um, along the back with my stamps and it has got little pink flowers on but once it's gone in the bisque the colour of the glaze will come out a lot clearer I hope like I said I'm so new to this don't really know what I'm doing but I found it really therapeutic and really like I don't know what the word is it just feels really me it feels really like I want to do this quite a lot and then I had this mug and this this mug was probably my favorite one so far and I loved the handle but the handle snapped and I thought this session this like process right now is about me experimenting and being curious and being creative and I think the whole process of being artistic and being creative is something not going the way that you want but still creating something from that so the handle come off and I had this little indent here and I just thought this is really, I, I think this is the cutest mug so far. I love that it's got this little like rest for your thumb and you can have it as a mug that you hold without a handle. I absolutely love this mug. Um, it says good morning in the middle. I think this is going to be really cute. I'm not sure. I've made them kind of small, I think. I think they're going to shrink quite a bit. So I'm not sure how big that's going to be, but I think my brother will love that one. I've got another one here that I want to paint, but I have a really strong feeling the handle of this one's going to fall off. But I think this is the best shaped mug I've made compared to something like this. Just this one looks more of a, a normal mug shape, which is cool. But again, it's still quite small, but we'll have to see what happens when they go in the bisque. And then I made some other little ones. So I also had made a little candlestick holder for a long candle. I think I'm going to give this to my best friend and I'm going to paint a candle um, to go in it. And then I was experimenting with some of the tools I've had. So this one's textured, which I really like. I do need to buff this one, which I'm going to do in a moment. So you get some water and a sponge and you smooth over and it kind of gets rid of any of these little bumps. Um, and this one I remember to date, so I can kind of look back on art that I've done if I do continue doing this but I love that one and I love the handle but I'm just very apprehensive to touch that right now because I don't want it to break and then I made these two little these were kind of an accident I just had some clay left but I love how these look and I thought they would be really cute espresso um espresso cups I just think they'll be really lush
I am in the middle of getting ready to go to Romsey. We were supposed to leave like an hour ago, but trust me and Sam to not be ready. Um, I'm trying to fart around with my hair. Um, we're spending the day down in Southampton in Romsey because we're gonna go and meet some of the family, Sam's family. It's gonna be a really lovely family day and it's actually like 20 degrees outside. So I'm so excited. I literally love the summer. It's like my favorite time of year. So that's gonna be lovely. We're just gonna have a little meet around, have a nice little day out. But yeah, ha, don't know what to do with it. It looks nicer on the camera than in real life. Cause I know Sam will say, keep it down. He loves my hat down, but it's actually really, really dirty. It's full of dry shampoo. And I just feel like it's gonna be a lot easier if I have it up, I was feeling like a real messy bun sort of look. I need to like go over the curly, the ends with curlers. But I feel like a messy bun. I don't know. down I was just like oh my god everything's so nice. <laughs> so nice. I really like that grapefruit one. So like, see even this so like as a present for someone like just ten of them it's so good like I oh, is it? Do you like that? I don't know how much it is. Just I can make some of these. Sorry I haven't chatted much on the camera but we were obviously like Exploring Romsey. We've just got back. Um, it was so, so nice. We definitely want to go back for the weekend. There was like loads of thatched cottages when we were driving down and like all these massive fields of golden flowers and cows. It was like what you really imagine the English countryside to look like. It was just absolutely gorgeous. And then the town gave me really like Cornwall sort of vibes. It was just really nice and it was warm and just so nice to be with Sam's family. Um, I absolutely love being with his family. It's the best thing ever. They have, it's massive and it's just so nice when we're all together. Everyone gets on really well. Um, but it was, it was just gorgeous. I unfortunately decided to eat an ice cream and have been in pain the entire journey home because I'm an absolute muppet. Um, and I think that's officially the last dairy ice cream I'm ever going to eat because it's just not worth it. <laughs> On the way home, I was like, Sam, can we get a, a Fanta? Because something fizzy always helps my belly if it feels like this. And I am I swear I'm literally becoming a mum. I was like, oh, it's actually too strong. I think I need to water it down. And Sammy was like, you've actually given me the ick that you have to water down a McDonald's drink. But I swear I am becoming a mum. I even, when we're driving as well, there was some like young girls crossing the road and they had little shorts on and I was like, Christ, their shorts are short. And then I was like, there's like a little voice in my head being like, literally listen to yourself. <laughs> but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this little, short little vlog. Um, sorry, I haven't uploaded the past few weeks. I just haven't really felt that creative and I don't want to force something that I find really fun. So I just needed a bit of a break. But I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, leave any comments below and I will hopefully see you in my next vlog when I take my pottery pieces to the bisque to get fired. So fingers crossed that all goes well. But thank you so much for joining me and coming back and I will see you soon.